Okay, hi guys. So we are going to focus on Facebook in this section. And Facebook is really one of my favorite ways to do advertising because you can really connect with people in a different way. It's a whole other way of advertising and you know, you can't just go in there and bombard your, uh, you know, uh, wedge yourself in the conversation, you know, screaming about some new product that you know about. It's just not going to work. People are on Facebook to socialize. They're actually not there looking for stuff. Whereas, you know, on most of this uh, traffic sources that we study, uh, these are people that are looking for things actively, like buy socks. They're putting buy socks in the search engine, and then everyone's competing on whose ad or website the person's actually going to end up on. And it's pretty simple. This is different. This is, you know, how do you get yourself in the conversation without being obtrusive um, or without being like a salesman. And so, you you know, you're going to run different types of advertisements on Facebook. You know, Facebook also is very strict about grammar. They don't allow lots, you know, exclamation points and, and any kind of um, characters besides letters and numbers. And they will um, pull ads for just bad grammar. So you have to be careful when, you, when you're, and, and a little more observant. It's just different rules than Google. It's not worse or better. I actually find it better because I can get ads up quicker. But it's not necessarily, you know, uh, good or bad. So here, we're going to go to create an ad. Now, before I do that, I want to tell you how did, so how did I get to this page, right? How did I, how did I find my way onto this page? Well, if you go on just your Facebook account and you scroll all the way down to the bottom, 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 now, I don't know if it's, Yes, okay, it's even on this page. So if this was just a normal Facebook account, at the bottom you're going to see, well, you're not going to see this. <laughs> you're going to see this here. Okay, so um, you're going to click on advertising and that's going to take you to this, which if it's your first time you wouldn't have anything under here, but um, you would want to cre create an ad. So again, you know, remember, this is very valuable information that I'm giving you. I mean, I really want you to succeed. This is all stuff I've paid a lot of money to learn. So, you know, I want you to value this. Sometimes I feel like if I give too much away for free, people aren't really going to see what they're learning, you know, what it can do, how it could, like, how it's a game changer. You know, learning how to advertise on Facebook, it is an art, but it's, you know, something that people make a lot of money when they figure out the right combination of an ad to offer uh, with the Facebook audience. So um, what we're going to do now, okay, so what we need to do first is uh, put in the destination URL. And uh, well, what are we going to do? For this, what we're going to do is something for um, diabetes. So again, now, you can't put any flashy exclamation points, all caps. You can't do that with Facebook. They're just, they just you'll never get on. And they'll ban your account, and it's a lot harder to get accounts with Facebook. It's just, it's not worth it. So, um, we can put something as simple as this. Okay. And uh, what this particular site is, it's a... Um, it's a CPA offer. You're looking for someone to fill out some information to join a free membership site for diabetes, where they get diabetes recipes and they get diabetic, you know, information and live support if they suffer. So we can put here, take advantage of. Oops, and you, yeah, take advantage of a. Take advantage of an amazing community which can help you with your diabetic questions and concerns. Sign up now and receive in and access 
Okay, and I ran out of characters. So, okay. <laughs> so anyway, I'm not used to doing this in front of... What I'm going to do is pause this for a second, come up with something decent to write, and I will be right back. Okay, I'm back. I wrote something a little more, um, you know, appropriate and instead of wasting time figuring something out. I mean, this is really, again, just to give you an idea. This is not about writing an effective ad, uh, this particular lesson. I can do those lessons and I will do those lessons. But uh, for now, I just want you to see how it all works. So we've clicked on, you know, create an ad. We put in our CPA offer up here, the destination URL. Uh, we put our question or statement here, struggle with diabetes, and now we put something here about take advantage of an amazing community where you'll receive free recipes and live support if you are someone who suffers with diabetes. So that's really great, and now we need a picture. So I hope I kept uh, some of these from the last time I did this. And now that I'm going through this, all of a sudden I'm realizing I probably don't. Well we can also use those fruit and vegetables we saw, but I had a great picture of a uh, of like an oozing cheesecake. <laughs> Let me get that picture and uh, and we'll we'll stick that in that spot, and then you'll see how effective, of course, using the right picture can be because it was the most effective I ad I had using um, the piece of cheesecake. Okay, here we're back. Now, like I said, an effective picture, um, you know, someone's on Facebook, they're not looking to buy, interact, really do anything except socialize with friends and family and things like that. So, you know, it's going to take a lot. It's going to take something eye-catching for them even to look over uh, where this ad is. So uh, this, this particular picture did an incredible, had re incredible results for me. I, I split tested it with lots of other desserts, donuts, and some kind of chocolate lava cake, and I mean, this did the best because, as you can see, it's a very effective picture. So if someone decides to look and they actually do have diabetes, and we'll get to that in a minute, why uh, they actually may have diabetes, um, how I did my targeting, um, I'm going to show you that in a minute, but they'll look over, oh, struggle with diabetes, and they'll read this here, and then this is going to give us a test. We can preview our link to make sure it goes. Now, again, this is not the most effective ad I've ever seen, and I probably wouldn't choose this ad. Um, if I was actually running something, but I wanted to give you a um, an idea. Okay, and for some reason, this is not previewing the link. Well, it does always usually work, so we'll get to that after maybe we save it. Oh, I know why, because we probably haven't gone through all this. So let's go down here now. Now, again, with here, we can do some great locating stuff. Um, Facebook is the best for targeting. There is nobody and no other ad platform that allows you to do the targeting that Facebook does. Um, one of the huge pros about Facebook advertising, you know, some people say that, you know, one of the cons is number one, people aren't looking really to buy anything or to do anything with sales, so that's a con. And number two, it's actually uh, get quite expensive pretty quickly, and that's of course a con. But when it comes to um, Targeting, there's nothing that beats Facebook. Okay, so here we're going to show that basically as we pare down, let's, uh, you know, let's do, let's just do a couple states here. Let's do New York, and, you know, just to show you how this works. So we got New York, and we got Los Angeles, oops, Los Angeles. Um, and again, what you might want to do is actually um, do some research about what areas would, uh, by state, excuse me, California. Um, you know, you might want to find out which states suffer most from diabetes. It may be part of your strategy, you know, to say, well, you know, I know that these 20 states are the highest uh, in diabetes suffering, so it may be part of your targeting, you know, and 